Building Ideas is proudly brought to you by the Master Builders Association. We're in the beautiful Adelaide Hills up at Blackwood Park and we've driven up here to show you the Panache which is today's feature home. It's been built by master builders Somerset Morgan and I'm very excited to show you because it's just been opened. Somerset Morgan is fast becoming one of Adelaide's premium master builders and the company's primary goal is to design and build homes that are individually tailored to meet the needs of their clients. Premium quality is a standout feature of every Somerset Morgan home and the quality of consultation, design, materials and craftsmanship is testament to their high level of service and dedication to their clients. Creating the perfect home is one of Somerset Morgan's key goals and with extensive expertise in design and construction, Natalie Oliver and Tom Morgan pride themselves on leading a very talented team that specialise in building premium quality homes that are second to none. As is customary, we're going to show you right through the Panache, today's feature home, and show you all the special inclusions. So be prepared to be impressed. Of course, that's not all we have on today's show. This is what else you can expect to see. We'll hear about building apprenticeships for girls. We'll showcase another amazing Alan Shepherd home. We'll hear from the experts at SA Health about reducing the risk of Legionella in your home and we'll look at the benefits associated with harvesting rainwater, thanks to Blue Scope Steel. So many exciting things to see, which we'll get onto in just a minute. But first of all, I had to show off this breathtaking entry foyer. It just oozes sophistication and elegance. And the fact that it leads directly on into the home theatre room, it just adds to the drama. Now I'm going to be showing you all of the special features throughout today's program. But first of all, it's over to Andrew with our regular Meter Master Builder segment. Today I'm catching up with Ian from Krivik Built for our regular Meet the Master Builder segment. Krivik Built specialise in exceptional one-off projects and they take care to make each one of their buildings truly stand out from the crowd. Their commitment to excellence is also evident in their approach to the relationship that they have with each of their clients. Ian, tell me about this project mate, what's going on today and tell me a bit about the house. Well it's uh, quite an interesting one, as you can see we've got the, uh, we've got the views so, and, and the, uh, the position so um, uh, basically, um, the client wanted us to come up with an architecturally designed home. The criteria was a, a sort of 60s design, and um, that's basically what was what was uh, based on. And um, and here we are. We're in construction. Uh, the feature of the house is uh, is basically concrete. Okay. And so, when did you start, and how much longer have you got to go? Um, we actually got the, the lower slab down um, just before Christmas and then we had the Christmas break mm -hmm. and um, we've been going hard since uh, basically February. And obviously the view is the major attraction here. What are you guys doing to take advantage of that? Well basically in design we looked at keeping the construction low. All our ceiling heights are just 2.7. Um, we've extended all our doors up to 2.7 just to give that picture frame effect which is actually starting to take shape now. Yeah, it gives you a great panoramic effect. Great. And tell me, how long have you been in the industry for? Uh, a little bit too long. Yeah. I thought I'd be retired by now. But I uh, uh, started off as a carpenter joiner at 15, so yeah. I'm getting close to 30 now. So, no, <laughs> no about uh, you know, 25 years. Okay. So, um, no, it's good. And plans for, for the future? What's coming up in the next 12 months? Oh, we, we're really a niche builder. We, don't, we tend not to do too many projects because we can't put our uh, effort to it. So, we only. Uh, you know, really doing three or four projects a year, but it's hands-on and it's this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and we're lucky enough that we've really, our books are always sort of committed to that. So, um, and uh, so, yeah, we're, we're pretty confident on the future. The end, things have been tough. It's all a survival mode for the last couple of years that everybody knows. But, you know, if you're good at what you do and if you're fair at what you do, don't worry about trying to put too much in your pocket these days. Just as long as you've got work, you keep your uh, uh, profile going, um, things will get better. So if you like what you've seen today, you can get in contact with Ian by calling 8294 0190 
or you can have a look at their website, krivik.com.au. On Building Ideas, we like to feature the latest looks and trends on the home front. So, we showcase lots of different new homes, home additions and renovations. And naturally, to complete projects like this, you need good building products. And that's where Colorbond and the Colorbond range comes to the fore. And they certainly still continue to stand the test of time. Regardless of the type of home or renovation you're planning, there's bound to be a Colorbond product that will complement the style and enhance the overall look and practicality of your new home or renovation. Colorbond steel has been around for over 40 years. It's made and tested in Australia for harsh Australian conditions, and its oven-baked finish resists chipping, peeling, and cracking. It's also corrosion resistant and non-combustible. Colorbond steel comes in a number of different gutter and fascia shapes and styles, such as the traditional D-shape, the half round, and the flat back gutter. Additionally, gutters come in a range of widths that are appropriate for the water carrying capacity of your area. Gutters and fascias come in a range of lengths with different finishing options as well, which means that some gutter styles will have concealed fixings or join points. This is great if you're trying to achieve that clean, seamless finish. I have to admit, I've never really given my gutters and downpipes much thought, other than to know that they need a bit of cleaning every now and again to make sure that they don't overflow. But the choices that you make when you select and install your gutters and downpipes will have a significant impact on the look and appeal of your home. Best of all, it doesn't really matter whether you have a steel or tiled roof because Colorbond Steel's gutters, fascias and downpipes are compatible with any type of roof. And with a comprehensive range of 20 designer colors to select from, you won't have any troubles finding the right one to suit your home. Made with a corrosion resistant zinc alum steel base, Colorbond gutters, downpipes and fascias are durable, but also easy to install. And because Colorbond is backed by a 20 year Blue Scope steel warranty, you can rest assured that your gutters and downpipes and your roof will stand the test of time. If you'd like more information, visit colorbond.com. Whilst it's lovely looking at new homes and finding out the latest on the renovation front, none of that would mean anything if we didn't have our health. It's really actually very important to make sure that our homes are maintained because they could become a health risk, especially where Legionella is concerned. Legionella is a type of bacteria that's commonly found in water, soils, compost and potting mixes and can potentially make us very ill. Of the many different species of Legionella, there are two that are most commonly associated with illness. The two types of Legionella that we're interested in from a public health perspective differ primarily based on the types of environments in which they grow and the seriousness of the illnesses that they cause. Legionella pneumophila is the first type of Legionella that we're interested in and that is typically a water-based Legionella and it loves to grow in warm stagnant conditions and can be found in both natural and artificial water bodies. The second kind of Legionella is a soil Based type of Legionella and it's typically associated with potting mixes, composts and soils. Both can cause infections in people when they're inhaled into the lung but it's the water-based type of Legionella which tends to cause more serious and potentially life-threatening illnesses such as Legionnaire's disease. Legionnaire's disease is a serious type of pneumonia which can be life-threatening and symptoms can include fever, cough, breathlessness and chest pain, and the disease develops within two to 10 days of exposure. Fortunately, Legionnaire's disease is quite rare and we don't see too many cases here in South Australia, but there are some factors which increase our risk of contracting Legionnaire's disease, and they include smoking, being older, and having certain types of diseases and cancers, such as diabetes, um, chronic heart disease, and lung infections. The risks associated with Legionella in the homes are associated with water-based systems such as spa baths, spa pools and hot water services and also wherever we're using garden-based products like compost soils and potting mixes. We can dramatically reduce the risk of contracting infections associated with soil-borne Legionella. By taking simple precautions when using potting mixes and composts, such as using an appropriate dust mask, gloves and washing our hands after use, 
When it comes to waterborne Legionella, um, it's important to maintain spa pools by using an appropriate disinfectant such as chlorine or bromine and monitoring the levels of these in spa pools using simple test kits available from hardware stores. And we must make sure that we're maintaining filters and the units themselves in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. For domestic hot water services, it's important that where we are storing water, it's kept at a minimum of 60 degrees. Uh, this can often be too hot when you're looking at using water through um, showers and baths. So if you are looking at using scalding prevention devices, it's important that you use a specifically designed system or a device installed by a licensed plumber. Because Legionella can colonise pipework within our homes, it's important that we reduce water stagnation by regularly flushing hot water through all outlets in our homes, at least on a weekly basis. If you'd like more information about Legionella or how to reduce the risk of Legionella growth in your home, then you can check out SA Health's website at health.sa.gov.au. Each week we talk about the Master Builders Construction Apprenticeship Mentoring Scheme, CAMS, and how it's helping young people in the building and construction industry. This week though, we're looking at Apprenticeships for Women. The building and construction industry in South Australia employs close to 70,000 people, and of those, the vast majority are males. However, this trend is changing, and now, more than ever, there are many females entering and working in building and construction. By completing an apprenticeship, you'll be on your way to becoming a qualified trade worker, trade subcontractor, licensed builder or other industry professional. CAMS is a major national initiative aimed to improve apprenticeship completions and enhance career opportunities. The scheme offers a range of services, including matching current apprentices to specially trained industry volunteers for one-on-one -on -one support on work and life issues. As an apprentice, finding your way in one of Australia's largest industries can present a challenge. But what if you could tap into the best knowledge the industry has to offer for free? Amy Shigrov is a fourth year carpentry apprentice with the Master Builders Group Training Scheme. Amy, what made you decide to become an apprentice? My dad's got his own construction company, so before my apprenticeship I was just working here and there with him and I just really enjoyed the work, so I just decided to you know, do a pre-volt course which um, bettered my chances with employment and I got a job. So yeah, I've been doing it ever since. And I can imagine there's a large majority of people on a work site would be guys. What's it like being a female in the yeah. building and construction industry? Yeah, absolutely, it's, it is male dominated but um, all the guys are very supportive of females that are in the industry so yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's great. Okay, good. And tell me after this, what, what, what are your plans for the future? Where, what are your aspirations? I'm looking to get a subcontractor's license and um, a general, oh, a restricted uh, builder's license. So, yeah, definitely going to stick around. Okay, yep. great. And maybe have your own business one day? One day. <laughs> I'll just stick with this at the moment. If you'd like more information about doing an apprenticeship or want some more information about CAMS, have a look at the website, which is alinksa.org.au. It's great to see so many career opportunities being created for young women in the building and construction industry thanks to terrific programs like CAMS. Now we're back in the Panache which is today's feature home and I have to say I am very impressed. Somerset Morgan are a relatively new building company but already they're making quite a name for themselves. Somerset Morgan are bringing innovation and vigour to premium home building. Whilst they offer an exclusive range of designs, they're also able to specialise in tailoring homes that are precisely built to meet individual clients' exacting requirements. The Panache is built over four levels. Its design is sensational and its building quality just as impressive. It exhibits the extensive possibilities for clients seeking to ensure that their new home is superb in every way. The home theatre and office complete the entry level of the home while the kitchen, butler's pantry, lounge, dining and al fresco make this home a true entertainer's delight.
Creating homes that are perfectly suited to their clients is exactly what Tom and Natalie specialise in. And I, firstly, I have to start with congratulations. What a magnificent home. Where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, look, Natalie and I are both inspired uh, and driven by a desire to create fantastic homes for uh, our clients. Uh, Somerset Morgan was really created, so we would be in a position to do exactly that, to consult with clients, uh, find out exactly what it is they wanted in their home, and then create a home with supreme workmanship and that was just ideal for the lifestyle they, they choose to live. So it really was um, what inspired us to do this. Well, I'm sure the client was very happy with this home. The relationship really is wonderful between yeah. the two. Yeah, definitely. It's something that we work on um, together so that we can offer the best side of the businesses in the construction the design side to our clients to create something unique and special for them that they can enjoy with all of their family and um, really just walk away with a fantastic, spectacular home. It's time for a quick break now, but stay watching because I'm going to walk you through a beautiful Alan Shepherd construction home. This architecturally designed home has been built over two levels and it boasts picture postcard views of our beautiful metropolitan coastline and you can probably guess by looking at the striking facade that it's been built by the award winning team at Allen Shepherd Constructions. Let's go and take a look inside. Wow, one of the things I love about all Allen Shepherd homes is their grandeur and that's often created by the exceptionally high ceilings like this one in the very impressive hallway. The entry spans from 3 metres to 4.8 metres with a rake ceiling that prevents heat building up yet retains its lovely natural ambient light. There are three bedrooms and two studios. One located upstairs and one downstairs. The bathrooms are stylish and elegant, yet understated, ensuring they complement the rest of the stunning internal finishes perfectly. The kitchen, as you'd expect, is superb. Its neutral colour scheme is lovely and the joinery is to the usual high standard that Alan expects from all of his trades. The entire residence has been built to reflect the ocean, the curve of the coastline and the gentle rolling sand dunes. The rear of the home creates immediate visual appeal with a compact alfresco area and the cool blue mosaic tiled pool, adding just the right amount of Miami style. This is a very stylish home and it flows seamlessly from inside to out. Actually, when you look at it, the architecture is really quite simple, but I think that's one of the reasons it works so well. The curve of the pool's deck is mirrored in the curve of the balcony and again in the roof line, creating one seamless, gentle and relaxed image and mood. So if you like this home or you'd like to see more of Alan's wonderful work, then pop up and have a look at their brand new display home. It's called The Infinity at Blackwood Park or you could look up their website, alanshepherd.com.au. There are so many talented master builders in South Australia and the great thing is I get to showcase one of them every week. We're back in today's feature home, the Panache, built by Somerset Morgan and this home really is what dreams are made of. Built over four levels, the Panache is the ideal family home for people who love to entertain and enjoy spending time together. We've seen the main living areas that are located on the middle level and these are the bedrooms. They're all spacious and extremely well laid out. They're serviced by a stunning bathroom and yet another lounge area, making this space the perfect retreat for children. The master suite is nothing short of spectacular. It's stunningly decorated, generously proportioned and complemented by the most exquisite ensuite.
there's a superbly fitted dressing room and the parents' retreat comes complete with a dry bar and private balcony, leaving absolutely nothing to be desired. The Panache really is very impressive. It's so spacious, very elegant, extremely well built. In fact, the moment that you walk in, you feel like you've entered somewhere special. And whether it's the striking handcrafted staircase or the awe-inspiring vaulted ceilings that seamlessly tie all four levels of the home together, you quickly realise that the Panache lives up to its name in every sense of the word. The home retains a warmth and intimacy that defies its expansive proportions, making it a standout amongst others on the block. It really is what dreams are made of. I'd like to sit and enjoy the panache all afternoon, but it is nearly time for us to go. So let's have a quick look what's on next week's show. We will host the show from a breathtaking Alan Shepherd built home. We'll hear from SA Water about our water quality, and we'll hear more about the CAMS program. I look forward to you joining Andrew and me then. I think I'll find Natalie and Tom and see if I can stay a little bit longer. Now, if you'd like more information about Somerset Morgan, you can look up their website, somersetmorgan.com.au. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Building Ideas proudly brought to you by the Master Builders Association.